the bottom line is that the project can and will continue to move forward. Mayoral candidate Cayetano and his lawyers would like nothing better than to spin this as a victory to get him elected in just a few days. This will not stop the rail project. The court had the chance to stop the rail project and it did not. Therefore, it will continue to move forward and any suggestion that this was a blow and a fatal joke blow to the rail project is nothing more than mere politics done at the 11th hour to try and convince people that this decision meant that it was stopped and the court specifically did not stop the rail project, plain and simple. And I now I'd like to refer to you to Mr. Dan Grabowskis for a few words. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. So obviously the ruling just came out this afternoon, but we have had a chance to go through some of the main points, and I, I'd just like to first begin by going through some of those. In the court's examination of our um, cultural properties, it reaffirmed that the burial sites uh, that we examined were actually properly done. They also looked at the constructive use determinations of four sites. Uh, three of the four sites, Aloha Tower, Walker Park, and Irwin Park, were all deemed to have been properly looked at and the court has pointed out to us that we need to now do some additional work on Mother Waldron Park to um, uh, supplement the work that uh, we had already supplied. In terms of our feasible and prudent alternatives, uh, the managed lane alternatives analysis that we did was upheld by the court, as well as the tunnel analysis on King Street. As the judge pointed out in the case, and um, I believe also when the case was originally heard, the Baratania Street information that we had within the record was uh, deemed to be quite complete. It just hadn't been completed uh, and placed within the EIS record. And that's something that now we will have a, an opportunity to do. Perhaps most significantly in terms of the alternative technologies that were looked at, we looked at bus rapid transit and we looked at at grade light rail. And today's decision affirms the fact that the work on those two analyses was complete and full and uh, withstood uh, his review. Um, we looked at all possible planning alternatives and those were satisfied. There were four counts of NEPA that were reviewed. All four counts were uh, held up, as well as we looked at uh, reasonable alternatives to the project, uh, and all four of those were also upheld, including managed lanes and our own steel wheels on steel. So in each of the different uh, cases uh, of the items that we had, we feel very confident uh, and, and very pleased by the fact that the court upheld those. Further, as the mayor pointed out, that um, the judge had an option if he thought that there was a serious uh, risk to the project to enjoin us. He did not. He invited the parties in an orderly fashion uh, to give a, um, their, each of their sides or their remedies uh, by the, I believe, November 30th. And then we'll have a hearing in the second week of December where the parties can then discuss those remedies and, um, and in an orderly fashion have an opportunity to then um, move forward. As I've looked at this you know, initially and discussed it with our attorneys, uh, what we're really talking about here is supplementing some of the work that was included in the record of decision and the environmental impact statement. Um, some of that work is already uh, ongoing. For instance, the traditional cultural properties assessment for the downtown section, the fourth of the four sections, uh, which is in the works right now, um, is uh, is one that uh, that uh, we hope to complete in the next several months. But the traditional cultural properties reports for the first, second, and third um, sections of the project are actually already complete. And as the judge pointed out in the case, um, uh, in his decision, uh, that should not affect the construction in the in the early parts of the project. So um, we're looking forward to uh, supplementing where the information in the record is uh, has been pointed out to be in need of uh, additional information. And we'll do that. And because of the Supreme Court ruling, we're already in a temporary halt in terms of construction. So we intend to try to complete this work at the same time that we're completing the archaeological inventory survey and have both of those things completed uh, as early as we can into the early part of next year.